Hey there, Sagittarius. How's it going? I'm Kim. I'm going to do your reading for the snow moon coming up. That is the full moon in Virgo. It's going to be February 27th, 2001. Um, what about this moon? Well, it's like other moons, unless you're a Virgo, you know, it will be very intense for Virgo. But Virgos tend to fixate on, um, one, they can accept change and they're easily adapted to many things. So that energy will be with you. Also, focus on public service and also getting like papers, paperwork, things in the house, clutter, getting things in order and organized. That might be on your mind too. We will be thinking about things all the way from past September to realize what's changed and what improvements or tweaks we still might need to make um, on our manifestations. So let's get started. We're gonna get started with the archetype deck and I'm gonna draw three cards and then do a little tarot spread with the tea leaves at the very end. So, let's get started, Sagittarius. Let's call in your angels, your spirit guides, your higher self, higher power. Give us messages that are for Sagittarius is greater good only. And as we proceed, will you protect us in the divine white light and surround our watchers, the Sagittarius or cross watchers that might be watching this too. All right, let's get going, let's get going. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button. You'll be notified of your future readings and your update readings that are throughout the whole month. So, let's go, let's go. <laughs> That's what I was just talking about. The shapeshifter. Yep. And the tear. And the flame. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I think we're having trouble adapting. Usually I look at this card as adaptable. But in this in this layout, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing trouble moving on or adapting from this tear like energy. And the tear is it's kind of about repressed emotions. And so this is a little warning. The moon brings out emotions, especially, they're usually running high, especially things that you've pushed down, not wanted to deal with, either now or at the time you didn't deal with it. So you need to either find an outlet. I don't always say find a friend to vent to and cry to because we really aren't all made like that. We really don't all benefit from telling another person what we're going through you know um some people like me i don't really benefit from that but i do benefit from uh writing like writing poetry um singing sometimes uh walking gets out a lot of my anger and frustration when i have that so any kind of exercising will help me so find a way to process this energy with the tear and realize that the reason you need to process this is because it needs to make room for something that was ex extinguished inside of you. Sagittarius, there is a song that you will remember called, uh, This Little Light of Mine, I'm Gonna Let It Shine. This Little Light of Mine. So that is what this card is about. There's something that this energy almost extinguished, this flame inside you, this willingness to... Um, like be brave and and just do something that lets your light shine to everyone so you, it's almost like yeah this this light got extinguished and we're being hard pressed to move past this um and this this snow moon really is bringing adaptability in to you it's going to bring resolve to your situation let's look at and it is general you know so it can be career or love Sagittarius, let's get some um, tarot. This is the Urban Tarot. It's a mixture between the top tarot and the Rider Weight. We're just going to do a simple spread and some tea leaves after that. So there are some different names to the cards and there are some different meanings because it's a combination, but we will 
We will talk about those when we get to them. Ugh. All right, so let's cut this for Sagittarius. See what else is going on. What does the tarot want to talk about? All right, probably has to do with some of this. Yeah, so Six of Swords, they have science down here. I don't know. Maybe that's your... <laughs> Maybe that's your interpretation of this, and maybe that's why it's coming out for you. I don't really resonate with that very well at all. <laughs> it looks like it's talking about a little bit of Kundalini um, energy. So, something coming out. Something that was repressed coming out. Also, the Six of Swords could be about a situation that was particularly hard to handle mentally. And so we are leaving this situation behind when we process. That makes more sense than um, the other one. So um, issue, work, either finding work or um, doing work where you're increasing your skill. Your skill set is going to be far superior than other people around you when you're able to do this, if you are able to do this. This could be about trying to find that work too. Challenge is the Queen of Wands. It has the public defender here as representing the type of character a Queen of Wands would be. So this is bold, not afraid to take risks. Um, fiery energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius could be one of those energies. Very intuitive. She's a what she'd call a go-getter. So she's not afraid to try anything first. The eight, wow, we do have some prosperity coming in for you. We have eight, eight, um, definitely in numerology. You know, that's that's like twice the abundance when you see that. This is the eight of cups in the past. So that's good because the six of swords said you were leaving a situation that was kind of um, constricting and it, and it was what we consider stormy weather. But the Eight of Cups also suggests some indulgence, maybe overindulgence with partying um, or something going around. Um, you might have participated, you might not have. It doesn't really, it's not really clear on that, but it does see you moving out of this situation. Maybe that's something you just did or you were thinking about in the past and you are going to do. Wow, this is the near future. Yay, Sagittarius. So see, this is all going to be all right. This is another indication of prosperity, abundance. This is the stuff that needs to be worked on. I think it's emotional. So emotional things need to be worked on. Don't be afraid to let your light shine. Advice from Spirit, the lover's card. Hmm. Partnership. Partnership being in a relationship and um, making good decisions together could be a Gemini we're talking about also this can indicate a very big decision that's going to be made and it's in the right direction too when it's the lovers this sometimes indicates like crossroads that we're at in life that we need to decide something and it might have to do with a partnership or it might just be a big decision whatever it is this is going to be made out of love and it will be a good loving choice for you so let's get some tea leaves, Sagittarius. I'm going to wrap this up because it's a really good reading the way it is. And we're just going to get tea leaves and end it. Join me for your next reading. Oh my goodness, really? All right. <laughs> this is a lot, so it might not resonate with everybody. They have a month here for August. It's on the lover's card. Perched, a bird perched, waiting for news, package, or a letter. Waiting for news, package, or a letter. Maybe something that's going to help you adapt. Gong, an exciting event. An exciting event. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Definitely, we had this energy in our reading. Pale, time to get out of a situation like the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Horseshoe, good luck. Good luck table hard work ahead definitely but we see that right there that might be what we're wanting to and then handshake and it looks like there's a ring there it looks like there's a ring um a meeting with a stranger could be important so that could be a negotiation no, negotiation with a partner like a business partner or that can be 
something like um, a relationship with a partner, an actual love interest. So thank you, Sagittarius. Um, thanks for joining me. Join me for your next reading and you all have a wonderful day. Bye.